Alright, so this popped into my head and I wanted to get it out of the way before I completely forget it. So this is what if female Deku with a human Tyranid hybrid. So reason behind this is because one, it popped into my head and two, out of the entire Warhammer series, the Tyranids are probably one of my favorite races, species, hi creatures, whatever. So anyway, we'll begin. So we'll pick begin in the Warhammer universe with a with a space marine fighting against a Tyranid. I don't know what I don't really know what type of Tyranid you guys can because I do not know the Tyranids that well, so you guys can just come up with one, and I'll use that in the next part if I if this gets enough likes. So, this Space Marine is fighting said Tyranid. As the Tyranid currently has the upper hand on him, on him, on them. As before the Tyranid could finish the Space Marine off, and steal their genes. They pull, they take out a grenade and pull the pin on it, as they would then say, for the Emperor and the Imperium of Man, before the grenade would explode, killing both the Tyranid and the Space Marine. As this explosion I'll say this is an experiment, this was an experimental type of grenade by the Imperium of Man. As this grenade, once detonated, would warp the body to a separate dimension. As, this bo as both the bodies of the Tyranid and the Space Marine would be teleported to the My Hero Academia universe. With both of with the both of them, both the bodies landing somewhere outside of I Island, as the sensors on the island would have picked up something that had popped up, uh, they'd send a security team to check it out, as they would find the Tyranid and the Space Marine. As they would be, both of their bodies would be taken to I Island. As David Shield, who is currently on the island right now, and Melissa, he's already had Melissa, she's about four years old at this point. As David would would have both the bodies on the up on the table. The body, the armor was taken off the Space Marine, and and the Tyranid was also put in the same room. Now the Tyranid is actually dead, dead, so it's not coming back. And so is the Space Marine. I don't care what you guys say. A grenade, a grenade at point blank range can kill anything. As David Shield would be trying to wrap his head around, around this, these two beings, as it would, as the Space Marine would look human, but David would find that it ha that they have three lungs and two hearts. And the Tyranid, I don't know what Tyranid's biology is like. Give me a minute. Alright, so its biology basically looks like a uh, p basic predatory animal, but it's uh, it appears a lot more biomechanical. Bio biomechanical, yeah, with a uh, with a uh, body with organs specifically designed to process um, biological and genetic information. As David, as these two bodies would be moved from David's jurisdiction over yeah no stay with David Shield as David would begin to run experiments 
on the two bodies. As eventually he would find out that one of them is basically a super soldier and the other is a predator that that can devour and intake gene genetic information and use it to, evo to evolve itself. So David is thinking, why doesn't he just take both of these things and put them together to create to create something that could help that could help hero society as that's what you'd be working on for the next couple of years as you'd basically take a take some cells from the um Tyranid and some cells from the Space Marine as he would basically merge them together and due to the Tyranid biology this works this works a lot better this makes it a lot easier to do so due to them being able to sorry about that being able to you know call co basically copy paste genetic information as it would as the body of this new being would begin to grow. As first come the internal organs. Then every then every then the muscle then the bone, muscle tissue, and skin, and everything else that come and everything else. Until we reach the uh, current moment until we reach uh, the just as Bakugo is finishing middle school this is still the 10 months before the before the um entrance exam with Iz I'm not sure what her name should be so if you guys have a name do leave it in the comments so I'm just going to call her uh, De Deku from right now as Deku would as Deku would basically be complete at this point, as all the uh, liquid that was in the tank that she was in would basically begin to drain, as she'd be taken out of it, of the tank, and placed onto a hospital bed. Now she does look like this in the picture, so she does have these uh, bone wing things, I don't know what they are, these are, but she doesn't have the armor that comes later, as she would wake up wondering where she is and who she is. Now I'll explain uh, is Deku's biology right here, so she, bas she basically has the best of the Tyranids and the uh, Space Marines. So she has the two hearts, three lungs, and the Tyranids adaptability. So like if, she, but instead of needing to devour an entire thing, she only needs to eat like one bit of it, and then she basically has that thing's ability. So like, if she had, if she got like a, like she actually like like, let's say for example she a uh, bit Bakugo and got a little bit of his blood. Then she could basically perfectly copy Bakugo's explosions. So, pe so people might will probably think that her that she has a copy quirk, when actually reality it's not her it's her biology. As Deku would wake up on the hospital bed, with as David Shield would walk in, as he'd say, "So you're so you're awake." As Deku would say, "Who are you?" As he would say that my name is David Shield and I'm, well, you could say I'm your father. As she would, Deku would say, my father? Wait, who, what am I? Who am I? What am I? As he, David would basically say that you're a human, yet you're not, and you're not. You're a hybrid of something that I found and a human. As Izumi would ask, what does he mean by that? As he would basically take, 
take Deku to where the Tyranid's body is, as he he would show her what what she the other half of her is, as they would David would say, we don't know what this is, but it took us it had taken a couple years to get to fully clone you to get to get you up and running, but it worked. So we got that going for us. Hold on, give me a minute. All right, sorry about that. As David would say, now I'm going to help you try to learn what your abil- what your abilities are, and how you can be, and basically try to help society. As Deku would basically agree to this as she would begin training you being able to use the Atirna's abilities along with some whatever abilities Space Marines have. I think they have super strength. I think that's one of them. Oh yeah, they also have night vision. I forgot about that. Hold on, give me a minute. I'll check what the Space Marine abilities are. I'm sorry if this is a mess. Alright, so she also has enhanced speed. Enhanced, she has enhanced speed, enhanced strength, and night vision, along with everything else I previously listed, like the three lungs and the two hearts. So, she's basically training for the next couple of years, next, actually next couple of months, as she would then basically spend the last couple of days designing her armor. Now, due to her having some sort of like memory of her, of her uh, space, of where her space marine genes came from, I'm not sure if this is true, so I'm going to say it is, that she can recall memories of the Tyranid and the space marine, which sort of like helped with her training a bit. Which is ha- when she fashioned this armor you see here. As David Shield would basically see her off to the mainland of Japan, along with her armor. So, now, I'm going to say this right here. This is like a little personality quirk I want to add to Deku. She has sort of like a, two, like, two little voice, like, a little voice in the back of her head. Hold on, give me a minute. Sorry about that. As this little voice in the back of her head is constantly telling her to eat, eat, eat. And this is sort of like, her, this is basically, hold on, sorry about that. This is her, uh, Tyranid instincts, um, talking to her. So you know, you know how sort of like you have like that little, little like voice in the back of your head? Like whenever you're, da- you're in a dangerous situation and that little voice in the back of your head tells you to run? It's sort of like that. As she would be, she would ignore this voice. She's been ignoring it for most of her life, which has been about ten months. As she would arrive on the mainland, along with her armor, as it would be sent to the UA facility, as she would then head towards the UA for the entrance exam. And that's where I'm going to finish this part off. I'm sorry if this has been a mess. Also, I'd like to give tell you guys something. After I do the 1K special, I'm going to be doing a little collaboration with a friend of mine on a what if that we will be doing. So be sure to check that out after I reach 1K. And I will see you all next time with this, hopefully, or maybe part 3 to mimic Deku. So I'll see you then.